Hi everyone, we're trying out another paracord bracelet today. This one is called the Earthworm Bar and it is uh, designed by Kelly Brewer. This one is nice easy one to do so it's good for beginners. So this one requires one piece of paracord and I'm using 220 centimeters or around about 87 inches and we want to divide our paracord into three so the easiest way to do that is to form it into the shape of an S and then just pinch one side together and then run these two bites in between your fingers and pull it out until you get to the other end so here we are I'm right at that end I take it to the other side these are equal to and so we just want to concentrate on this loop here just place that over your finger and we can discard that end and we want to start off by tying an alpine butterfly so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a wrap once around my finger with the right hand strand and I'm going to come around the other way with that left hand strand so we should have three wraps on our finger now I want to take this very left strand into the center now I want to take the very left strand and I'm going to take it all the way across and then push it through those two loops I'm going to take it all the way across and I'm just going to point my fingers together and using my right hand I'm going to push that through and then we can pull that and that should be your alpine butterfly loop and the loop size should come out at about the right size which is about one centimeter or half an inch so once you've tied your loop you should find that one side of your two strands is a shorter piece and the other side is a longer piece now we want to take the shorter piece and come in over the longer one just cross them over and then we want to take this one and wrap it around and down through that loop So that's once and we want to come around and through that loop one more time. And now we just need to tighten this up so we pull on one side and where it's coiled around we just want to roll that closed as well as pull on this end. So I'll be pulling on the end with my little finger and rolling these two loops in between my thumb and index finger and now we just want to continue on with the same sort of pattern I'm going to take that shorter strand across the top and I'm going to take this lower one around and through the loop that's once and I'm going to go through one more time and again we just need to tighten this up and again the action is just to roll those loops closed So continuing on I want to take this short strand over the longer one and then wrap this long strand through that loop once and then twice and again tighten it up 
just by pulling that strand and then rolling these ones in between the fingers and we just need to continue that same process all the way down using one strand to snake down the bracelet and the other strand to form our coils so once you have the bar down to the desired length I'm just going to lock this off with a square knot and the way we do that is just take the left strand over the right and then tuck it up through that loop just to form a simple thumb knot and tighten that down and then we will take the right strand over the left again tuck it up through that loop to form a simple thumb knot and then tighten that down so now we just need to tie a button down the bottom here if you like the ornamental diamond knot which is quite a popular knot I'll leave a link on how to tie that one I'm just going to tie a simple button here so the way I'm going to do that is just hold these two strands together and with the right strand I'm going to form an underhand loop by coming in underneath both strands and then with the left strand here I'm going to form an overhand loop by coming in above both strands and take this right one up through the right loop and this left strand down through the left loop and then tighten it up we just need to pull the strands directly outwards and now we just need to cut off these excess ends here and singe them off with a lighter so I'm going to go ahead and do that now just cut them off singe them and then just press the ends do that on both sides so here's the finished bracelet front side and back side please share this video because that allows me to keep creating content for you guys Thanks for watching.